It's that time! <laughs> I can't believe it's here. Like, it's, I know, it's happening. It's, happening. It's, it's out. It's ready. It's happening. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. That's Heath. That's Ilya. What's up? We have a huge, huge announcement. But before we get there, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna let Heath take I know this you're, on. I know you're excited for me, yeah. baby. Um, so, a lot of you know Ilya and I have been doing a documentary, basically covering from start to finish of my transformation. Uh, I started at 197 pounds. I got down to 151 pounds. Um, thank Honestly. you. Thank you. Insane. Um, yeah. And we did it in the course of just around five months. And we filmed everything, like I said. And that documentary is out. So we're going to link that in the description below. Please go watch it. Um, they worked really hard on it. Yeah. Blood, yeah. sweat, and tears into the doc. <laughs> literally. 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 Yeah. Blood, sweat, and tears. Um, and I want to give you a thank you for also helping me, you know, find the motivation and basically get me started on this journey. Uh, it's not stopping, baby. And then along the journey, obviously, Ilya has his protein company, uh, Zila. They have pre-workout, protein, uh, apple cider vinegar uh, supplements. And we had a conversation. I was like, a long time ago, I used to do this thing where I would pour coffee into my protein and I would have like a, like a Java chip style protein. Yeah. And he was like, oh my God, that sounds really interesting. Like what, what is that like? So I ended up showing him, he's like, dude, this is absolutely incredible. We got to do something like this. And I was like, what if we did a partnership with Zila and Cremota and we put our coffee in the protein and did a pre-workout. Uh, and then we started the formulation process for that. And it's, it, the, the product is so good. Unbelievable. I, I literally, I, I, I wish everybody can try it just so they can see what we're talking about. Because were, were we talking about that yesterday? How like if if this was at a trade show, like a protein yes. trade show, and everyone had to try it? Yes. This would hands, hands down. down. When? Everybody, yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, and like people, like they respond to my DMs and they're like, obviously you'd say your product is good. But it's like, no, bro. If yeah. my product is not good, I'm not going to say it's good. Yeah. Right. You know and I mean? you wouldn't put it out. Right. I don't want to put it out. Yeah. And I've tried a lot of different proteins. Right. And I, I think there's a general consensus that, this is fucking good. Yeah. yeah. Everybody that tries it is super hyped on Yeah. It. And out of all the proteins that I have tried in the past, like past like 10 years of my life, I, I would say that that is the, my favorite one so far. Me too. It's honestly. just, it's yeah. light. Yeah. It's clean. It, I was, I was even telling Ilya today, I left the, um, the Zila cup, like the shaker yeah. like overnight on the table. And I went to wash it. Everything came right off. No curdles. It, it doesn't, it like doesn't harden. I don't know what's yeah. in other protein, but it like makes it stick to everything. And that right. slid right off. And that just, I feel like that shows how clean yeah. The protein is. Uh, yeah. Do you want to talk about it real quick? Uh, yeah. Like sure. the, the calories per serving, the grams of protein. Of course. So in each serving, there's 25 grams of protein. It's 150 calories. I mean, I do two scoops, right? So it's 300 calories. So I get 50 grams of protein. For 300 calories. Which yeah. is incredible. Fucking unheard of. Right. One thing that we did uh, to sweeten this is we use monk fruit uh, instead of sugar. Right. And some other proteins use erythritol. And long story short, erythritol kind of up, up, at least upsets my stomach. Yeah. And so I didn't use that. I used other sweeteners. Um, but it's two grams of carbs, um, one gram of fat. It's, and it's, a whole lot of coffee, and, baby. And uh, just so everybody's aware, because people were asking, there is no caffeine in the protein. Yeah. Uh, so w what I like to do is I like to make it with coffee, uh, just because I'm a, a caffeine addict and I just love it. Uh, and plus it tastes absolutely amazing. So the flavor is Java chip. So it does have like a, uh, a mocha coffee type flavor, um, but adding coffee into it just makes it even more incredible. Um, so that's something you could do. And then the pre-workout is a iced vanilla coffee. That does have caffeine. Yes. That has a, yes. Yeah, caffe caffeinated, Come baby, on, a baby. lot. And you don't get that itchy kind of skin crawly feeling like you typically would with uh, other. Yeah. Brands. And that's my favorite part about the pre-workout too, is that I don't get like when I'm like after I take that and I yeah. do like my mile run, I'm not like getting itchy yeah. after like my first break of sweat. It's, I mean, it's truly, it's like a clean product. Yeah. yeah. It makes you feel good. And it's, it's great too, even if you're not going, like it, if I'm not going to work out, I just like to use it as a coffee substitute. It just, it, you you get that rush of energy, you get that adrenaline, you get, you know, you get up and get your day started. Yeah. I personally don't really care for um, citrus, lemonade, fruity, strawberry, like crazy type <laughs> flavors like that at six in the morning if yeah. I'm, you know, getting up and getting ready for the gym. <laughs> Um, it's just kind of like, I, I, I get tired of it. I like my coffee in the morning. So instead of drinking a coffee 
And then a pre-workout, I was like, let's just have yeah. coffee pre-workout and <clears throat> just turn it into one. And it tastes incredible. Um, I'm so pumped about the product. Guys. Yeah. This is super counterintuitive, but I haven't had coffee or caffeine in 10 days. You're, you're waiting for <laughs> us. To, so he's waiting for us to launch so he can have that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, dude, I've been drinking that shit since the moment I, I got it. Since no, dude, I'm like it. every morning I wake up and I'll, uh, I, cause I work out in the morning. I'm like, yeah. fuck man. I, it's sitting right there. I fucking want it. But I'm like, no, 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 no. Just wait, wait until the launch. Just hey, wait, discipline. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be, we're going to be that. ripping shots of pre-workout tonight uh, at, at the, the party. party. Yeah. yeah. We're, having, yeah. we're having a launch party for both of our brands. We're so excited and all yeah. of our friends and you know, Everyone um, we love is going to be there, so that'll be fun. Also, but, I, I'm sorry, I stand corrected. It's four grams of fat, which is only five percent of your daily daily value. So oh, it's not that, okay. Yeah, one to four, not that big of a difference. Right. Perfect. Yeah. And if you guys do want to try it, make sure to go to zelafitness.com if you want to place an order for it. We're we're going to put the link in the description below for that as well. Uh, I highly recommend you try it, even if you're you know new to working out. You've been working out. It's a great product for everybody in between. Uh, so. Yeah, especially to people who are new to working out. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'll emphasize that for sure because this is something again that won't make you feel fucking crazy at the gym, right? But mm -hmm. it'll get you going. You know, yeah. get you yeah, off exactly. your ass. And obviously, on the site, you can buy either uh, each product by itself, or you can buy it in a bundle package. You can also get this yep. merch. What we're wearing Yee! right now, you see, we're all wearing the same thing. Yep. It's uh, our collab merch. You see the back right here. What, it looks you, so read, good. Read the bottom again. What's that it bottom? says, wake, wake up, up and, and smell, smell the games. games. <laughs> I love how cheesy it is. But Super cheesy. It yeah. is. I came up with it. I love how cheesy it is. <laughs> no, no. Cheesy? No. Cheesy in a good, in a good way. way. In a good yeah. way. No, I, yeah, I think good it's good cheesy. Yeah. But... Super high quality, and I love the way it's printed on the shirt. It's, it looks so it's, good. It's, it's, it's great, and it's yeah. really cute, too. The quality of these tees are literally next level. I haven't put on a tee like this ever in yeah. my life. Yeah, It feels so nice. Also, I want to say one thing. For people that are new to working out, the problem is you'll get this, right? And you'll be like, okay, cool. I have this. I'll take the pre-workout, but what the fuck do I do now? Yeah. You know I mean, like, how do I work out? You can visit the website after you buy the product and there's free workouts there to get you yes. started, right? You just literally go on, get fit or whatever the page name is. And you go to the workouts and you follow the routine. It's literally me fucking saying what to do. Yeah. You know what I mean, you so, can do exactly what I did for, <laughs> yeah. for my transformation. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it's not, it's not a crazy amount of workouts, but it will get you started. It will get you in the gym. Um, and then you can progress from there. Right. I fucking love doing this shit. I mean, it's been a trip and yeah. I love doing it with people that are like so into it, you know, like so hyped for it. And yeah. like, dude, I mean, working with both of you, but obviously with Heath when yeah. transforming him has been like such a pleasure because just like showing up and like, you knowing like we're going to fucking do it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's, there is no option B. It's just like, we're doing it. You know what I mean? And, Trust the process and, that's, a, and that's a hard thing to do. It's so, a really hard thing so, to do. So, so hard. Cause most people truly do give up week two, week three, you know, so they do get a little bit of progress. Yeah. But then they'll they'll drop, um, and that obviously didn't happen with Heath. And, and I will say it did take me like three weeks to start seeing results because yeah. you know your body's in such uh, like a routine uh, to, such to a switch. Habit. Yeah, yeah, exactly to switch it up and then start you know working out and doing stuff better. Uh, you might not see those instant results that you're looking for. You can't work out for a week and be like, where's my abs? You know, it's something you have to just stick with and keep yeah. going and just know your body's doing the thing. You might not notice it, but you're... Yeah, like I said before, it's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's not going to... It's not going to be overnight. It's not going to be over one week. It may not, may not even be over one month. You know what I mean? But you stick to it. You fucking show up. You do it. And I promise you, you will see results. It's like getting a hair transplant, baby. It takes time. It takes time. You got to be very patient. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's man. how I like to look at it. Just like hair plugs. Yeah. But, but yeah, guys, make sure make sure to go to zealafitness.com. Get your shit. It's amazing. Yeah. We worked so hard on it. Truly, we did work hard. Truly, I think that's why we're so yeah. passionate and yeah. excited about it. It's yeah. because it's finally like come to life. And it and has such a fucking dope story behind it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not just like fucking Zane and Heath did a collab right. with Ilya and now we it's like, dude, you transform your life, my yeah. guy. You know what I mean? Like that's why finally, it's so cool. Something positive. I dude. Did. <laughs> something yeah. positive that we have with coffee. Finally. I know. Nice. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. No, you guys both fucking killed it. I mean, in the creative process and, and he's 
journey yeah so thank you to both Look of you. amazing thanks guys. good job yeah i'll thank be you. i'll be there in a few months <laughs> just you, give me time you're rocking it it, it takes time it takes yeah, time yeah, for yeah, me yeah yeah Dude, it's I'm, hard it really is hard it, it's all mental it is a mental yeah. game and it's it's a it's a it's a long one too mm -hmm. you really have to um and i will say i, I haven't really talked about it too much because i wanted it to be <clears> mostly <throat> a surprise for the documentary and everything that comes out um but qu quitting alcohol was definitely uh, a big help in this whole yeah. process yeah. because I know as soon as I start drinking, I can't stop. And then, you know, you're like, whatever, it's a piece of pizza. It's, it's in and out. It's this. And you just like make an excuse for yourself and you're like, whatever. Yeah. Um, so that I think definitely helped me out the most with staying on track um, yeah, and not and having any like setbacks. And that can go for anything. You know, it, it's like to be great, at something you have to sacrifice something yeah. yeah it's just what it is and and yours was alcohol someone else's might be i don't know fucking eating too much pizza Cheeto or, yeah whatever yeah. it is but you just have to sacrifice that and that's what it is like like it yeah. or not that's what it comes down to no, it, it's and it's true too because I, like I, I went like three weeks without drinking and then one night i i partied with everybody yep. drank a lot and it sets you back literally it's like not two, worth it yeah Two weeks. It's insane. It's so like, I, I agree with you with the alcohol thing. It really yeah. does set you yeah. back and you really have to cut everything. You have to cut everything and like, but if you really want flip. it, you, you got to do it. Yeah. Just got to do it. I agree. Well, damn. all right. Il, thanks I'm for so coming on and here. talking about it. And Thank uh, you. thanks for everything. Honestly, dude. Yeah. Serious. No, you, you fucking killed it, dude. I'm so excited to put this out. I'm so excited for people to see it. And I'm going to uh, say one last thing. Um, people like you motivate me. You know what I mean? Cool. And through your journey and you get like a, uh, you get to see, what is it? Like a, a secondhand kind of satisfaction. Yeah, secondhand like, high. Like, yeah. like, a, like yes. a, you're vicariously getting excited, seeing yes. me get excited. Exactly. And getting yes. more and more motivated every day. I and, totally get that. And also you don't understand how many people you have motivated. I hope you don't even know. You don't understand. Like it's fucking crazy when this shit comes out, dude, and people see it, they're going to be like, Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. You guys can do it too. I, I feel like I would like looking at myself. I'm the last person I thought that could make it through this and be able to do this. Yeah. Um. So if you're if you if you've watched the documentary, you haven't yet. Um. Hopefully, I can inspire and encourage other people to live a healthier, um, you know, mentally happy life because my my brain is so much clearer than it was when I was, you know, when I first started. I just feel so much stronger, um, just physically and mentally. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I highly encourage anybody to yeah, that's get the out thing, there. And that's try the it. thing that people need to realize too. It's not only your physical that's yeah. changing; it's your mental. Mm -hmm. Super, super uh, high in your mental. Yes, yeah. you know what I mean. I agree more than I thought it was yeah. going to be. Yeah, very, very surprising. Yeah. yeah, but with that, um, there's so much content that's coming out of Heath's transformation that's going to be coming I'm out, and then so well, cool. it's actually out already, right? Everything's uh, we out. We posted yes. the before and after, and then there's going to be videos along yeah. the way. There's stuff that I've been filming. Yeah. Um, you know, me, me just at my lowest in the mirror. <laughs> just no, we, baby, we love to see it, baby. Um, I'm excited because I feel like people don't even know like what I look like under this t-shirt yet. Because I, I, I do a good job of covering up yeah. what I look like, even when I was, you know at 200 pounds everybody yeah. everybody looks at the old pictures and they're like i don't, I don't remember. remember you yeah everybody's yeah like, it's when crazy did you look like that and i'm like five months ago not yeah um i just you know baggy t-shirts and kind of you know yeah you're so good at it i'm excited for people to see what i ended up getting to and what i've been working so hard for i really want to see you progress from here too you know what i mean Balkan season baby yes totally bulk and season, bulk up fucking get some muscle on but don't quit I mean, no, absolutely not. Don't quit because it's you're you're too far in to go back to where you were. Yeah, I, oh, and I will never. He, he yeah. will never. I know that for sure. There's no way. Like I've, you I've fluctuated with my weight so many times to to have to deal. You with fluctuated, but you never got to where never ever close. I've never to where had you abs are. in yeah. my life ever in my life. Why the hell would you want to go? I'll back? tell you. There's I'll tell you yeah. one thing. If you hold on for another six months at this weight and you honestly just maintain, I don't think that you'll ever go back to what you were ever yeah i agree for another six months if you hold it because again it's just about habits right y your body and your brain needs to get adapted to it and once it does then you'll be golden so, sick congrats yeah. thanks congrats, guys man yeah thank you. right thank you everyone thank you for you know all the support throughout the years you yep. know obviously yeah um we're, we're just so excited about this product it's so cool being able to do it with one of our best friends and Heath. 
We yeah. have a coffee company. This is it's fucking so cool. That we get to it's collab. so cool. Our first collab is with our one of our best friends. So I yeah. like you know how everybody's like entrepreneur. This like yeah. this is the first time I've hey. ever like ever felt like mm, entrepreneur. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna put it in my bio. Change that Instagram vibe. Yeah. Hundred. <laughs> All right, guys. Um. Well, yeah. Thank you for joining yes. today. Thanks guys um, for having me. Let's jump into the episode again. If you want to check it out, zelafitness.com, and uh, yeah, let's do this episode. All right. Peace out. We keep getting bullied. Yeah. About what? Everything, dude. He, he's how I got cut off last podcast. Well, so yeah. people were I'm sorry, man. When he does slouches, I approach his to that. Stop slouching. That's a lesson. Do you think you, do you guys have decent posture? I have terrible has posture. Has your posture terrible. improved since you- No, you have good posture. Has your posture been improving since you've been working out? I've been more conscious of it. Yeah. My posture is still really bad. I'm, I don't, th like, the thing is that this is how I sit. You know what's really sad is I'll try to sit up and I'll try to have good posture, but it hurts. Like it hurts because your body's not used to it. You're 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 putting yourself through discomfort. To I always think you need to be sitting in a better chair throughout the day. I mean, you're on that laptop just like <laughs> <laughs> that's Mariah. Just get, just, get, yeah. get, just getting them clips out. You know, that's why I lay on the floor. I feel like it's better for my back. Oh, I love laying on my stomach. I feel like yeah. that's not good. I'm a for big you. floor gal. If I had like a if I owned like a, a co working space, like <laughs> everybody would just be on their stomach instead of an office desk. It's just the floor. I feel like people are it's way not, more it's productive. Not good. It's not good to um like sleep on your stomach in bed though i've heard that like sleeping because yeah. of like your organs like you shouldn't like your organs should like it's bad for your heart for all that to be weighing oh, down. oh i thought it was bad for your back that's why i always was conscious of oh i don't care about my organs i don't <laughs> i don't believe the whole it's best to sleep on your side have you tried sleeping on your it's side impossible. You, it's impossible you can't do it with your shoulder your arms it gets in the, in the way so you either gotta go like this and then you're scrunching this way. Well, good thing they came up with those mattresses. I'm gonna get one. You, you've seen the mattresses where they have the hole? Yes. Where you put your oh, arm in? Yes. I, where have those mattresses been? It looks those like are, it looks like the line. I got problems with those. <laughs> like, I love the idea of that, but one, thinking about losing your damn phone down in that shit. Oh, uh, yeah. The amount of like having to clean it. Yeah, and because oh, you're not yeah, shit. if you put your hand in, there's a fucking Just bug in there. Oh, oh, yeah, that would be bad. I wouldn't like that. But you, remember, I you remember the Brookstone pillows? They were like no. horseshoe shaped. They were all like the, the funky ones that I used to sell. I don't and remember, it, no. It would be, till they had like the one for the side sleeper that would like wrap over your shoulder and then it would come down in front of you and it would be like, yeah, so like, oh, like, like almost like, like a body pillow, like oh, like a kind of, but it was it was weird shapes. I almost bought like a pregnancy one that was <laughs> this size of like a boa constrictor, but it was like you could just wrap oh, it yeah. around oh, whichever nice. way you that's want. Nice. You know what I really want is the ostrich pillow. Is it just has ostrich feathers in it? No, it it's called the ostrich because <laughs> you put your whole head in it. Huh? What? You literally put your whole head into it. It's like for airplanes mostly. You throw it over your head and then your arms go into it. And it's this whole, oh. it's like those old scuba diving helmets. Oh, yes. That, I remember yes. that. Oh, what the? <laughs> it looks like one of those old school, like, <laughs> squeezy toys. Wait, I, I need that when I'm editing. Oh, my God. <laughs> You guys remember back then, like like ten years ago, when people would have those like long ass pillows, like the decoration, yes. the decorational pillows, but they were long ones. Mm -hmm. I would use those as a body pillow at oh, night, yeah. kind oh, of, because nice. you wrap your legs around it like mm -hmm. that, and you just. Oh. I, am I the mm. only one that doesn't sleep with a pillow? Oh, what, Patricia? No sometimes. pillow. Wait, no pillow. Just like. Uh, what? It like hurts military, my back. like you're in prison. Yeah, love it. Put I'm, me there. I'm most comfortable on flat surfaces. Like the second I have a pillow, even just one behind my head, if I'm fo no matter what position I'm in, it hurts my back. Even, very even like a flat, like even like a really flat. It's very uncomfortable wow. for me. Like I'd rather be almost arched. There's times where I, where I get rid of my pillow just because it's uncomfortable, but like I can't do it for longer than like longer than like 15 minutes, then I have to put a pillow back under my head because. But I sure spend a fortune on pillows. <laughs> I love a good 14 pillow. 14 of them. <laughs> you do, so you, I you love always pillows. got pillows, so you'll have it on the kitchen counter. <laughs> you have this fucking decoration. Some nerve. Have, I mean, you don't like pillows, but have you ever tried the pillow cube, like a like a square pillow? I really want pillow to. Pillow cube. You I ever get that guy it. on like yeah. the ad where he's like, this, you have a problem with sleeping? Uh, two words. The, Pillow cube. They work. They really work because they keep your neck at a 90 degree angle. It, it's oh, perfect. Do you nice. have, is that what the money one that you have is? Yeah, is that a pillow that's, cube? That's the one that like, the, it's a cat. The, the, um, the sheet is a cash. It's like a uh, stack of cash money. box. Oh, it looks yeah. like a car. Like you want it at a carnival. carnival no. It is something you can't leave it on your bed. Like it, it just doesn't look right. Oh yeah. It doesn't look very yeah, nice. I, I got to, heat the whole set. 
It works, right? Oh, it's that thing whole, is amazing. It's a whole set where like there's a sloped pillow, there is a log pillow, there's a pillow for your arm, for your legs. There's like a, a there's like sixteen one. different ways to lay it out too. So you can lay it out, and but you have to sleep sitting up because that's the only position where he'll wake up feeling yeah. okay. So there's pillows that you can buy in a pack on Amazon. <laughs> on my storefront, I don't have a storefront. <laughs> um, and. It worked, but they are so ugly. Like yeah. there's yeah, no covers you can buy with them. They are <laughs> disgusting and ugly. You know how uh, when you get a massage, they always put like a little pillow under your legs or uh, or under your- um, Yes, that's what it is. I so I like I feel like that's how we should all be sleeping every I know. night. No, like, I know. Put, like with a pillow under I, me because I, that's how I your put body a pillow be. under my knees. It, yeah, it, it feels so much better. Yeah. yeah, it helps with like the lower back pressure too. Why doesn't anybody tell you to do that if it's like actually better for your body? Because they want you to go to the doctor and spend money. Yup. And who tells you that? Chiropractors. See, speaking of massages, tell them about what you just found out the other day. Wait, tell, tell them after, after the oh, intro. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah. Let's, let's roll the intro. Yeah. Oh. Hurry, 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 hurry. It's Comic Tone, baby. Let's go. 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 So it um, it notifies my phone because if I lose my phone, you know what a fucking tile. Yeah, what am I explaining? About. So a tile is basically. This. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, before we continue this conversation, tiles suck. Yeah, they're. Terrible. You know why they suck? They suck because the moment that you're out of range, it doesn't tell you where your phone is anymore. That's it doesn't tell you where same your with the air tag. Same with the air tag. Why? I know. What's the point of a tile? The point of it is when you lose it, you get to go. Oh, okay. Let me see where yeah. I left my keys. And then you they're, can they're track not. It. They're not GPS. They're Bluetooth connected, it's so you right. can only see up so to. Every time what's I the point? every time I leave the house and or if he's driving, so I leave my keys here. The second I step outside, I get a notification saying your keys are not detected anymore. Yep. I'm like stupid. I'm still at the front door. Very it's dumb. Ridiculous. I just I just had to get out. Other way, I complain about that every day, but I haven't done anything about it. You need it. to vent. Yeah, I need As to you vent. That's why it lets you know is because it's the last place where you had them. Yeah, right. But, but, if, know, they get, but if they get stolen, it'd be really nice to have like it's whoever to steals it though is gonna be taking that air tag right no, off. No, not when it's uh, not when it's on your phone. I love the, the time it saves whenever you're about to leave and I you can't find your that. keys. I yes. use it every day. Oh, even if I, it, it just, I just don't even want to think about where it is. I'm like, so you know what. So tiles are good for when you I need to find a last minute yeah, around the love house. love it in the house. I, I, I just really need it when I lose it. That's it. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And, and we're... And we get right back into the news. <laughs> Unfiltered. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yes. So we just found out something that I... It literally blew my mind and I don't even know how this is legal. Um, there, there's an app for massage parlors that tell you exactly which ones give you a happy ending. I've heard this, it's been around it's, for a couple oh, yes. of years. It's called Tug Maps. That's oh, what it's Tug called. Tug Maps. I just Yikes. learned this the other day. They, why doesn't they, how do they not go in and shut down every business? On no, this app? I, I don't understand. I'm saying, why haven't we discovered this yet? <laughs> Come on! You want to go to, to a, me? You want to no, go no, to no, a never. massage? That is, no, that's, that's gross. bizarre. I'm just surprised that I haven't heard about it though, <laughs> because you know I, mean? I am researching. But like, how many people? Like, how many people out there are using that every single day? I'm sure a lot. I think they look. They find out which place near them does it, and they go there a lot. I don't think they're using it every day. The, how are people? I, I, I would never have the balls to walk in anywhere. Even if someone to all my friends told me, like tell me this that place does this it. place does it, I wouldn't have the balls to walk up to anybody. I'd like go, my hand was Hey, um, do you guys uh, do, uh, how do you even ask for <laughs> yeah, it? What, what's the problem? What, what's the, I, bet what's like the, I bet massage places that don't even do it, put it on there just so they get more business. And then the moment like someone's like, hey, aren't you gonna do this? They're like, absolutely not. not, get out of here. Pervert. But you're, they got that pig. They got that money, it just gets like. Yeah, that's that's so crazy because the, like, I know people that have done it before and I just don't understand how you even ask for it. Yeah, the pro I, I, can't e I can't even go into a strip club and feel like I'm violating. <laughs> 
Like I can't even sit there and watch because I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble. Yeah, it's wild. People go to strip clubs like all the time. Yeah, like like all a the casual time. like weekly thing. Oh yeah, just I, got off work and go to the strip club before I go home. That's huh? like it's it's really sad. And there's people really that sad. actually go for the food. <laughs> but wait, just what what place has good, what strip club has good I've, food? I've heard some places have a mean like buffet. A, top, a mean fish fillet. A topless brunch. <laughs> a buffet? A buffet. Boobs cool. and burgers. <laughs> Seeing boobies make you hungry. <laughs> like the thing is, I, I know if I go to my phone and look for it, I know it doesn't exist. There's no way like that like actually I'll look I've, I've heard about it. Why, why, why was that per this person telling us like, like because you were like, I really just want to get a massage right now. And then we were talking about how you can get a massage to your house. I thought, you, then, I thought you were about to say like completely lie and say, you're talking about how you really wanted a happy ending. I wasn't so. going to, I wasn't going to put you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But crazy. That is really crazy. I don't know how that's a functioning business, but uh, it is what it is. Anything exciting happen to you guys? <laughs> Um, I, oh, 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 I don't know. Recently, no. We went to a wedding. Oh yes! Oh yeah! We finally got to go to a wedding. I'm happy for you yeah. guys. It's really <laughs> and finally. it was amazing. It was kind of weird seeing you guys at a wedding. A like, wedding I was that like, we that's went my to thing. That's my thing. There. Yeah, yeah. Pretty crazy. But yeah, it, uh, it was Vince and Carla's wedding. They got married at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. It was Beverly Hilton. Absolute, Beverly Hills. What did I say? Hilton. Beverly Hilton. Was Beverly Hilton? It's I don't know. It's the Hilton it's... right near the Beverly Hills Oh, my Hotel. bad. The Beverly Hills Hotel. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was they, amazing. They put quite a bit into it. How many it people were there? Like 300, almost 350. Woo! We did the math. It was very, big. very intimate. <laughs> they did something that I've never seen before, and I it blew my mind. So basically, instead of having a DJ for the entire night, they had a live band oh, yeah. that went through an entire, like They every were up there single, for like three hours straight. Every genre of music you could possibly imagine, they did it, and they were up there with like saxophones, trombones, and they were getting down. It was like a, a, a college marching band. You know how they do like fun renditions of like, like new songs, it was insane. It really fit the hotel vibe. It was just very, it took you back, but they also put a modern twist on it. it so with cool. like they gave a hundred thousand dollar performance. I like, yeah, I was, couldn't the stop. That's what they cost. I couldn't stop looking at them. Like all of their, all their energy, each of them had something to give on that, right. on that stage. It was amazing. And then they jumped down into the dance floor and they were like hanging out and like, yeah. Oh yeah. It was, it was fun. Just, so be The ceremony was gorgeous. It was all black. So it was black tie, but you had to wear the color black. Everybody was in black. Um, it was really pretty. It was outside the ceremony. They released doves for- so Those it, doves came out perfectly. No, it was beautiful. So they had these doves released. The ceremony was perfect. The officiant was excellent. Yeah, was, he was so funny. It was their friend Dom. Um, and he got asked like- <laughs> Like a month before. <laughs> yeah, like a month before. He had like no time to prepare, but it was beautifully written. Um, the reception, cocktail hour. What, what else happened? I'm trying to think. They uh, moved you, it, the the ceremony happened on the property of the hotel, yeah. right? Yeah, everything. Was so on the then he moved uh, right into. We just went right inside to cocktail hour and then the reception. Oh, very nice. Uh, how was the food? Were they serving you at your table? Oh, Amazing. wagyu steak. It oh, was for uh, for three hundred something yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. they, put, they put money into it. Yeah, it was. And, they, they and the steak was big. Everyone's like, "This is Dude, huge." Yeah, we couldn't like everyone was really surprised. I I, I don't go to weddings, so I didn't know if. If it was big or small, but it was a good, pretty good size was, steak. For like, it was expensive incredible. steak too. It was food was amazing. Yeah, it was just good vibes all around. It really was, was so fun. Everybody was up dancing. Um, I like what they did with the dessert. They kind of did like a his and hers dessert. They didn't announce that 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 was it, but they had rainbow cookies, which is an Italian dessert that Carla really likes to make, and then they had chocolate chip cookies, which is Vince's favorite. So at the end they had like the dessert, but then they also had the rainbow cookies and the chocolate chip cookies around. It was and really, then it was when it got really, well. really late and everybody was like starting to leave, they had in and out like the, oh, nice. they were walking around. They kept <laughs> people fed. Yeah, it the was entire the entire time. time. Yeah. yeah. It was it was very the flow was amazing. It wasn't like all the speeches at once where you're waiting to eat and you're like Oh boy. Yeah. It was a speech and then we got up and danced and then we sat down, there was another speech and then we ate and then there's so it was very spread out. There was like three speeches. Yeah, you were never bored the entire time. You were never, time. yeah. Oh, nice, it you keeps like the momentum going. You know, yeah. after the dessert, like 30 minutes later, they brought out the cake. 
So everybody had cake after that giant yeah. dessert we all had. Every, the food just kept coming. It just kept coming. Yeah, it was really, really good. And there was a photo booth, of course. Really and we nice did good. Stuff. Nobody got like belligerent. Yeah, we, we got looked belligerent. Oh, no, Todd, he Todd, got crazy. No, Todd was wild. <laughs> he said, he said "This is a wedding, and I'm getting down." And he did. Were there kids? Uh, did they let kids come? No, no kids. Uh, the only two, her niece and nephew, walked down the aisle. They were the flower okay. girl and the ring bearer, but um. No, no kids. I was still, the the thing is that I probably would have gotten down more. I just got like, I was still really hung over from that Thursday when mm. we took my mom oh. out. That was, we were still recovering from that. You guys let it out that night. Yeah, um, it was, it was all awesome. <laughs> Ronnie from Jersey Shore was there. Oh yeah, I saw and that. I yeah. did not leave. I said, I'm not leaving this wedding until I see him dance. He has this iconic, we're, we're all yeah. waiting. We're all waiting for this him. This iconic just something, dance that something. he does, this like foot shuffle that he does. Yeah. And I said, I am not leaving until I see him or dancing. Or one fist pump. Just give something. me yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. And, we, and we saw it and I was like, all right, I can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can he's, re happy. he's really Did cool. you talk to him at all? He's um, really he actually, he beelined he, for Zach. He beelined for me. He came up to me and said, hi. I was like, oh, I, okay, hi. How are you doing? Was, I, I was right next to Zane and I was like, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here too. Had you met him before? For, it was just a handshake and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We didn't have like a conversation or anything, but like the way he came up to me, was almost like we were known boys. each other. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but what? he's a really nice guy. Cool. He's very quiet. When, when we first yeah, met him, quiet. like. That's probably uh, Thanksgiving. We met him at a charity event thing, and he was very quiet, but a really like cool guy, really nice. And then asked for Mariah. <laughs> he was like, "Where's Mariah?" <laughs> we, were like, we were standing in a circle. I think it was a mistake. Yeah, I think he got your because I was the last yeah. person he was introduced to, and then like two seconds later, he was like, "Where's Mariah?" And Vince is like, <laughs> "Right, right ah. there." And I was, I was embarrassed for some reason. He was like, "Oh, uh, uh, uh not uh." Uh, and then it just got really weird, but he's really cool. And I really want him to come on if you're watching. Yeah, yeah. come on the pod. Come on. come on, baby, right there. There's a spot for you. And then <laughs> I thought this was insane. I was freaking out. Uh, it was an accident, um, but it was still cool. Uh, Tiffany Haddish airdropped a <laughs> picture to me. <laughs> what? She was at the table next to us. <laughs> wait, 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 like, wait, we were not, it, we're not 100% sure that was her, right? It was definitely her. It, it, said, it said like Tiff Dizzle. But she was at the table. But what did her hair to, look like? Zane, you have no, to, it was no, her. No, it was her, Tiffany but was Haddish her. was next no, to us. No, she was there. Okay. But you also have to think about the distance. She was the table next to it us. It was yeah. right and next to us. And it kind of narrowed down to her because the name, because like she was on her phone. Like There was, there was no other just, Tiff. Just, he just shows me the I was like, is that it, who it I said, think it, it is? It said incoming airdrop, like <laughs> Tiff Dizzle or something. And I'm like, <laughs> I looked over at their table and I was just like, oh my God, should I accept it? Yes. And I was like, fuck it. I just accepted it. <laughs> it was, I'll, I'll show you the picture. I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. Um, it might be some private information. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like worried. Like, should we even say it? It was a picture of. Uh, a currency. A, a picture of currency. The rapper? No, 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 it was no, like, like currency. The, the it was like bills. <laughs> the object. Oh. It was like currency of like from another country. What kind of deals is Tiffany Haddish making <laughs> at a wedding? Yeah, yeah I know. Um, but I thought it was so interesting and I accepted it. And, and we kept, and like after it. he accepted, we kept looking at her to see if she was like, she wasn't really on her phone though at the time, but we don't know. Because my like iPhone is like iPhone 49 is just what it pops <gasps> up as. <laughs> I can see her doing this too. She's like trying to airdrop at someone and she mistakenly clicks something else. She goes, oh shit. And then she put her <laughs> phone down just, just in case people look up at her and she's just like, Oh yeah, yeah, that's not her. <laughs> if, not her if I was in detective mode, here's what I would have done. All right, here's all right. my plan. That's what you so airdrop doesn't travel that far. You have to be pretty close. So I would take, I would look at the numbers of the tables around us and then I would go to the seating chart and see if there was another Tiffany sitting um, at those tables, but I did not do it. That. That's good. Or I told Heath, I told Heath like in that moment, I was like, Heath, you should look, he just hold your phone up right now to her and say, I got it. Is this you? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that would have been, I, I was but that would have been really weird if she was just like, huh? why would you accept it? Yeah, you like, no, 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 no. I'm saying weird. Like if it wasn't yeah. her, like miraculous, like it just wasn't her. I'm going with it was her. And yeah. we, we shared that moment and I, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I can't believe you it. texted with a celebrity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's our title. <laughs> were there, Tiffany Haddish texted Heath. <laughs> were there any other? We should, we should so do that random. every episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, Just say the title flat out. Were, uh, were there any other celebrities, though, at the... Uh, uh, Julian there a, Edelman. There was there was Heath. There was me. There was... Um, oh, shit. Sure. There was a ton of verified people, because when we went through everyone's stories, it was like, 
everybody was verified. I was like, yeah, oh, people geez. that we didn't know. There's a lot know. of athletes. Like, um, um, I didn't, I didn't know most people. I only knew like, but our, it was a really table. good crowd. Everybody was up dancing. Yeah, and nobody was too cool to yeah. not to dance. Were they know? playing Uptown Funk? Oh yeah, they definitely played everything. That. They I played hate every. Funk. Well, they played a lot of. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, Uptown Funk at my wedding. That shit no gets Uptown the Funk going. and none of that. Uh, uh, make you dance, dance, dance. Oh, I got this feeling. Oh yeah, it's yeah, in yeah, my no. bone. I'll tell I, you, it's always those damn songs that like. I don't know. They're they're catchy, but it they get the old people dancing. And they didn't have go. they didn't have like anything. I, like yeah, it was very. It. it was like Earth, Wind, and Trendy, Fire. Yeah. Casey, Casey and the Sunshine Band. Yeah. Number, to today's music. Number one <clears throat> wedding bop of all time. I know you it can't is. debate me on this. You know you make me wanna oh, shout. Oh yeah. It shout. makes it. Dude, dude, I, was every, dancing, I was dancing like this, like this, like you were yeah. in church. A little bit softer now. A little bit softer now. It dude. makes you. It makes you feel like you're in church, giving yeah. yourself to the Lord. Like. Hey, 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 there's something about a song that brings everybody together. Yes. Mm -hmm. No matter what background you come from. Exactly. Like when, Gets the when people I, going. I thought about like when people ask me like, what kind of music do you listen to? That's the genre. <laughs> like just whatever gets everybody going and united. Yep. And just like, Pariah, it's so fun. I think that's my favorite Sweet, type of music. Sweet yep. Caroline's my favorite song. It brings people together. It brings people close again. Yeah. Oh, I guess whatever fights were, that were happening, it's out, it's out the door now, you know? This is not coffee, by the way. I don't drink it this. Yeah, I was asking Brian, what the I hell mean, was I'm that? So, so I'm much trying milk to chug it. it because you embarrassed me. <laughs> Sam was like, "That's a lot of milk in your coffee." Or milk in yeah, your coffee. Yeah, that's, that's how my mom liked her coffee, it's just like it's that. Milk tea. I mean, my oh my, mine's pretty light too. That's actually embarrassing that I'm no, calling yours is you good. out. This is it's okay. Did they do what they call the traditional? I don't know wedding things like did they do the uh, like a bouquet toss? They did. No, they bouquet did. tosses surprised. are out. I feel I like see yeah. that. they don't. Every wedding that I've been to. The past couple of years, they've been doing it, but this was the first one where they. I have not. No, all the weddings I went to, not one did a bouquet toss. I think. I think because it leads to a little bit too much of a competition. Yeah, I love the, girls. the traditional. All those traditional weddings. You like activities. the bouquet toss? Love and everything then the, about the, it. The the garter. Oh yeah. yeah. Did they I do that? Like, no, 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 no. See, yeah, they had. Are... Oh, they their first dance was choreographed by people who won. So or. Dancing with the Stars. Oh boy! Yeah, it was, wow. it was really I know. Good. Yeah, I did see a bit some some of the moves. It was really cool. Do you, do you think uh, people take the boat uh, the the boat bouquet bo bo the bouquet tosses uh, seriously? No. What no. is it? it the they tradition don't? is that whoever catches it is the next one to get yeah, married. Yeah. Like, do they take it that seriously, or is it just? I think like a I joke? think there's some the, some then, chicks that, in there that that's do. That's what I feel like. They you've do. seen like throwing bows, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just getting and then the garter toss where the guys do it oh. and then that guy and that girl have to dance. That's why they have singles go up. Oh, I, I did not know I there was like a guy version th of that. This one. <laughs> no. But don't they shoot it like backwards? Yeah, some, they try to. Like <laughs> I, I've seen them do it like backwards. I would oh. shoot it like a rubber band. Like. That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it is a little weird. Uh, that's why I don't think, I think they do more bouquet tosses than the garter tosses now. At, at the wedding, uh, you guys probably saw, saw uh, some of you probably saw this already, but uh, Ilya and, um, <laughs> And Jonah, they Yo. both like went in for a kiss next to the piano. It was really funny. Like they did a long, like sensual yeah, kiss. Yeah, it right? was intimate. And, and Jonah was so disgusted. He <laughs> ran straight out of the wedding and just bleh, puked Threw all. Up. That happened. And that happened. It was immediately. It was like uh, it thirty seconds apart. Oh, that was I actually. Thought I thought that was like a clip earlier. No, that the was night. real. No. That was real. It was like three seconds after. It was like comedically like. Projectile Project, vomit. Yeah. It was so, like, he has honestly the best pukes, like the best sounding pukes oh, he ever. Could, he could get hired for something. Oh, he could get <laughs> something. it. Oh, he could get it. But yeah, people probably thought it was like, stay, like fake, but it definitely wasn't. Immediately not. after. Were, yeah. were, were any like of the wedding guests like disgusted by it? No, nobody really no. saw it. it, it if and anything, he like it was, ran outside. Most of the people were inside at that time. Yeah. So thank God. And it was late too. So people probably just thought that he got like too drunk. Yeah. Which I mean, a lot of people were. It was really such a good <laughs> No, no, I'm not drunk. I just kissed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny yeah. how like, dude, there's so many d weird things that discuss Jonah though. Very like, weird. Weird things like that would just make him want to puke on, on the spot. Like yeah. That. How many photographers were there? Oh, that's just really off topic. I'm sorry. It, no, it's fine. Uh, I, there was, there was there a was, lot. There was a lot and the photographer and then the person doing their like, they did like a social media reel of it. They got it done overnight. That's it was amazing. They already got, it done got the next their pictures morning. back. It was all edited and done, which yeah. is so smart because 
Especially these you don't days, people like want pictures. It, yeah. People want pictures the next day to yeah. post, not like three days. I bet she charges a lot more to do it overnight. But. Yeah, dude, I knew a couple that uh, got uh, married last year. We went to their wedding. It was a beautiful ceremony. All the pictures of like the first half of the day gone. <gasps> what happened? Uh, the, they the, lost. The, that's why you hire a backup photographer. Yeah. It was like a couple. They were a wedding photographer couple. Uh, like one takes all the photos. Yeah. The other guy like hand, handles, you know, uh, editing them. And yeah, oh, and, no. and he got the card from his girlfriend. He's like, this card's empty. And she goes, what do you mean? I've been taking like all the photos on it. No, and they lost like all their. Uh, uh, oh, my God. All the photos. Uh, I think it what my guess was that it was a formatting the card thing. And you know how like. Do you want to format we this card and it day. deletes everything? Yeah. yeah, that's the only time I know of a case where like all so the photos can be. Sometimes deleted. they get corrupt too. Remember, we did that entire shoot day for, oh, Liza, for Liza. That was a disaster with the, with the Mario Kart. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the shoot that the never. <laughs> she <laughs> she lost all that everything footage. Everything gone. Oh. It was hours of we were, filming. We were we were out there all day filming, and it was gonna be like a really good video too because we were all card Mario got corrupt. Kart. Oh right, dude, that was so, so worst. It's feeling. it's cr and it's crazy because it's it. It's nobody's fault when a, file, when, a yeah. when a memory card corrupts. It just corrupts and your whole day. Now, I mean, now they have it set where as soon as you film like like ten minutes, you immediately import it. Immediately import it. Like yeah, just, like, just, just in it. case. Oh yeah. So this. Uh, so the bride was livid about it. I would it. imagine. I bet. Cause it was also kind of like a, a, a bit of like a, what do they call it? Like a stalemate after where they're like, hey, where are the pictures? We still haven't seen those. And the, and the couple <laughs> has been like, um, um, um. And then they finally were like, this is what happened. We're really <laughs> sorry. And they had to go back and all get back in their suits and everything to go no. recreate oh, some of the man. photos. And uh, that was devastating. But silver lining though, is that that now for like the rest of like the girl's like life with like her family and getting like photos taken as a family are always for free by the photographer, which is like, Oh, that's nice. I don't know, she, oh, wait, but it's always free from that photographer, that photographer wow. for everybody. No, no. She, she, no. they like, offered that to, so she I goes, guess, so, I'm sorry. Oh, got so it, got for it, got like it. your kids, like, I don't know, first day of school or like all your know, family oh, photos. Shit. Okay, okay. Okay. She'll always do like a photo session with them. For I, thought, free. I, thought, I thought everybody that was there at the wedding, their <laughs> weddings are covered. Like the men, is gonna be <laughs> broke. It's oh, gonna be fucking booked for all these I think free shoes. You have to buy like insurance money too uh, for the photographer in case some of those things happen. For some reason, that wouldn't like. I would make be, no. I would just do it the next day. Get into my. Uh, I, I don't know why it wouldn't make me that. Well, I, I, you I have to accept it. It's gone. So what are you gonna exactly, do? Yeah. Like, and we work just in that style of business. So like, we would accept it. That's where. Yeah, but you that, don't yeah, have you don't have all the pictures of the ceremony when all the guests are there, and you guys are. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. Back then, they just. You know, no one took photos sometimes too, or it was like one or couple, three photos up from right, a wedding. Yeah. Like, I guess you I look at it as like, you paid $400,000, $500,000 for this wedding and um, for a video, right? I mean, not for a video, it's your wedding, but like still like you film, you did all this for $500,000 to get a video out of it and you didn't mm -hmm. get the video out of it and you just wasted it. I wanted to talk to you about this after Florida, but he shot my sister's engagement pictures it was a last minute thing. They wanted to book something. Um, and then when we were in Florida, we were just like, why don't we just do it tomorrow? Like Heath will take them on the beach. I got my first gig. Yeah, he got his first <laughs> nice, gig. Nice. Um, but I don't toot my own horn too often, but I think we, we made a we really good team for like, he's very good at having a vision, taking pictures. He's really good with cameras. He does his research. And then I directed the engagement shoot. Like I would she love did like to the posing of them. And yeah, like I, I, cause, because I, I'm so picky. I have an eye of like what to fix that other people like don't movement see. Movement and stuff, yeah, yeah tableaus. Like, like turning the ring a specific way, like fixing her shirt. Like I have a really good um, It's called OCD. for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's called the I need help. OCD. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I have this <laughs> You put that on your site. I have OCD, so I am very good I'm at these I'm psychotic, you can trust me. <laughs> um, yeah, but I thought that was really fun. Like I was afterwards, after seeing the pictures, I was like- We, we could should, do this. We could do this. Like if somebody had, a very low budget, but they want high quality, that would be us because we're not professionals, but really good at it. So yeah. I wouldn't charge people a lot of money. I'd be you, like, hey, $20 and I'll $20. do it. <laughs> There's no like photography certificate though for like taking wedding photos. Anybody can take no. it, right? Yeah. Anybody yeah, no, can no. take it. You, you just have it. to know the camera and the lighting and stuff. Yeah. And he's really good at it. But and, man, I, and I have a good eye. That's yeah. large shoes to fill Thank though. You. I wouldn't want to take any job like that. Oh, unless I oh, knew dude, I was The pressure was on. At, yeah, I, I bet. Was like, I was freaking out.
It was so the whole good, time. Though. I was like, well, oh the my thing God. is, that it was on the beach. It's not like there's like a hundred people there. Like you have to get that moment specifically. It was just you guys on the beach. So I feel yeah, like that you, was like, a little bit, like little. That, that's Less something intense. everybody like looks forward to, you know, the, like, yeah. the engagement photos. And I was just like, like they're on the invitations for the, did you see the invitation yeah. for the engagement? Like that picture's on it. Isn't that for, cool? You, you freaking took that. Oh, nice. Wow. Very I don't know. Good. Maybe we should start something. What should, Hire what us, should our company name be? <laughs> the cheapest, like <laughs> ham photography, ham <laughs> cheap thrills. <laughs> Ham and cheese. <laughs> ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Wedding ham and photos. cheese stills. <laughs> Wait, ham and cheese like smile. Oh wow. my god! Ham it up and H get it and, and say cheese. Ham it up and say cheese. Ham and ham and cheese Ethan productions. Mariah. Very good. Please, nobody take that, please. <laughs> who wants to? Who wants the book? Somebody's us? already got the site. I bet it already exists. It. Do you think so? Maybe maybe not as a photography like yeah more brand yeah something else. It could just be like, you know, ham and cheese, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, know. yeah. Yeah, probably. I love it, Bob. Good brain. Thank you. You too. Good <laughs> All the comments. Oh, they, th they thought they did they, something. They thought they ate. <laughs> they thought they it's ate. It's the biggest photography company in the world. <laughs> it's that. Uh, Hurry, Jordan. Uh, ham it's and like, cheese. It's, it's like it's, Wisconsin. <laughs> it's who? Casey Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> like Madison, Wisconsin. Ham and, ham and cheese photography. It's just going to be. No, photography. Photography. It's just going to be pictures of ham and cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just uh, really good looking. Ham and cheese. Oh, ham and oh. cheese photos. Photo yeah. booth rentals. Photo booth. Oh, look. Ham and cheese. Oh. Ham it up. And oh, God. Oh, my God. Ham it up and say cheese. Oh, yeah. God. God. <laughs> I just got goosebumps. You fucking. That's exactly what you said. Because it's not that original. Like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but it's Heath and Mariah. So what if we just do HM... And cheese. Ham and mozzarella. Him and cheese. Man, mm. you gotta give it to him. That literally was the banner on the side. Ham it up and say ham cheese. Ham it up and say cheese. Fucking you gotta give it to Matt. <laughs> I looked at Matt's I face. Matt's face was bright red. I'm like. I love it. I still I like, like it. it, Mr. Schneebly. Oh, come on. Be All fucking right. proud of these guys for having a brain like you. Look at that. Let's let's give a fan a free photo shoot just for us to practice. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you're in the like five mile radius. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> if of you're where? in the neighborhood, we'll meet you tomorrow. <sighs> All right. Well, you were saying you were saying Florida about 10 minutes ago. You were saying, talking about Florida. And I want to say, speaking of Florida, oh, go ahead. I'll, uh, I'm going to take that. I'm going to run with All it right, right you're wasting here. Time. <laughs> speaking of Florida, um, <laughs> For all of you guys who don't know, we said in the last podcast already, but we are having a happy hour tasting and meet and greet at That's four right. different locations in Florida, baby. Yes, we're going to be there August 11th through the 14th. The 11th is going to be in Orlando. 12th is going to be in Palm Beach Gardens. The 13th is going to be in Sarasota. And the 14th is going to be in Port Charlotte. And if you want the exact uh, details on the address of the location, it's going to be uh, at the Total Wine. So uh, just look in the description below and you can see exactly where it is. Yeah, we have four links for each location. So if you're going to go to Orlando, you're going to go to Sarasota, click the link that's right there next to that location. And then just RSVP, RSVP that baby. you're going. And that's it. Also, it's you do free. you do have to be 21 and older to get in because yes. it is a liquor store. Ooh. And the first 100 people that show up at each location is going to get a signed happy hour T-shirt from Zane and I. Woo! So, yeah, come on down if you guys have time. It's going to be oh, a lot of fun. Oh, you think 100 people are showing <laughs> I feel bad for that 101th person. <laughs> one. <laughs> You're like one for you and well, sorry. sorry. None for you, Gretchen. Well, I mean, it's just it's better than nothing. 100, 100. Yeah. But, they, but then maybe you have a little marker and people who don't have a signed shirt, when they meet you, you can sign their shirt. Well, we're meeting everybody. You're you're assuming that 5,000 people aren't going to show up. Uh, Remember when we said that about coffee talk? And a lot of people showed up. <laughs> yeah, we, we had 70 coffees. I know. We thought. Ethan and I said 70 coffees will do the trick. That, and 2,500 of you so <laughs> That Porsche Cremota event was also insane yeah There's so many people yeah. a lot of people came, and that was that last is, like all day awesome. thing. is it just you two or anybody yeah. else it's just, just us. Oh, us. oh how fun yeah. sarasota florida we wanted, we wanted everybody to come but I, it, it, it's like a lot to do also we're road days. tripping so it's we're, road, we're gonna be in trip. a bus driving how fun that is yeah. fun wait, okay i, I thought sorry. you guys would be like fuck wait. <laughs> oh i thought they'd be like fuck i mean like yeah. an rv no, 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 like an no, RV. It's gonna oh. be, we're going to be in like a, just like a Volkswagen 1960s. What's, what's the furthest drive you have? Um, Orlando to Palm Beach. Palm Beach. Which is? Four hours. Oof. And then from Palm Beach. And for that reason, I'm not a road trip. Gal. Yeah, no, I'm not either, but I think it'll be fun. 
Like, it'll be a fun. It's our first little yeah. like tour. You know, are y'all going to Disney World? No, we don't. No. Have time. We haven't. We don't have time for anything else but the for or, that or, reason or interest. <laughs> We're stoked. Oh, we hope you have time so you can meet yeah. us, hang out. Let me tell it's my brother to go to three Orlando. hour stops. Try some happy hour. You'll yeah. be my my brother. Yeah. I'll tell him your, to stop your brother? by. My Come. brother's in yeah, my Orlando. Brother. He's in a Kissemi. What's what the Kiss- frig is it He called? lives there now. Oh, that's right outside of Orlando. Yeah. That's Wait, why does why does he live there? For work. <laughs> I thought your brother moved to New York. Other Different brother. Different brother. I, <gasps> you have two brothers. I have two brothers. You have two brothers. Remember when he thought your brother and sister were making out? <laughs> At Saddle Ranch. But it was my brother and his girlfriend. And he didn't, Mariah, he didn't was... know how to tell Mariah, like, yo, something is up with the family. <laughs> like, Zane the whole week was, like, look, side-eyeing them. Like, is anybody Matt, seeing? Matt, I felt like I was on, an, like, a soap opera. I was sitting there. I was questioning my entire existence for a good hour and a half. I was just like, I don't know if I should tell Mariah because every time Mariah's around, they're not really doing anything. They're only doing it <laughs> when, when she steps when away. She up, steps away and I'm seeing with my own eyes, but why would they do this and not look if, to make sure that anyone's... I mean, in his defense, she is also Italian, so she does look like one of us. Right. But I was like, that is incestual still- kissing. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. I couldn't imagine seeing that. And then I looked at Mariah in a different light too. I was just like, does Mariah oh. do that shit? <laughs> With their brothers? <laughs> With the brothers, really? Really? <laughs> really nasty. He's getting Freaking unimaginable. Look at this. My hair. Is my hair. A- my- <laughs> Italians really are weird. <laughs> the higher the hair, the closer to God. Family really is a top priority, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Y'all nasty bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, family's number one. You don't, sir. Buy a family first. Go TT. Yeah, go TT. You deserve it. Family first. What did I say? (laughs) Family's number one. (laughs) Family first choice. Family hashtag one. Jesus, Jesus second because your brother's first. You know what? Let's keep going. (laughs) Yeah. Your mom would love that one, huh? She'll (laughs) whack me in the face if she heard me say that in person. (laughs) She's hit him like three times. Jesus second because your brother's first. I've been slapped. She'll go like this. She'll go like this. Because mm, she thinks he's so handsome. <laughs> Thank you. It's a, it's Thanks, T. Oh, I feel like I've just been in a funk lately, man. You're talking to the two kings of funk. Tell me about it. This funk! Is, I've had a rough couple days. But I, it's just, I know it's because I haven't been working out. Welcome what to What else? Uh, don't you, aren't you breaking out again? Uh, no, I'm just in this state of like where it's like clearing up and it's still there and it's getting itchy and I don't want to work out because I feel like it's going to inflame it. And then I also don't want to go tan because I have a weird feeling it's going to inflame it more. That does suck when you have so, uh, like a condition where like it, it, you literally can't work out because of it. it yeah. It's it. That sucks. Yeah. I because just working out does make you feel <laughs> a lot better. I'm in the home stretch and I and I know the reason why I've been like down in the dumps, it's because I don't have those endorphins from working out. Yeah. Cause I'm usually, I feel great all the After time. Workout. And then I'm like, but I feel like tomorrow I'm going to be like, screw it. Let's just deal with it and face it head on. But, oh man, I've just been in a funk. And like, do you ever like hate yourself? <laughs> yeah. Every day, uh, man, yeah. I'm sick of myself. Yeah. It's, and the medication is, uh, losing its potency. And you want to apologize for being yourself, you know? Yeah. I like look in the mirror. I'm just like, or like sometimes I see clips of, you know, even reels where we're having laughs, we're doing this podcast and I'm just like, shut the fuck up, Matt. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy just blabbering on my phone? I just think like, oh, are people seeing that? But actually everyone in the comments is usually very yeah, supportive. Yeah, they're very nice, they're very supportive. But yeah, no, I I hate hearing myself, especially like on camera. I don't know why I sound so different on- uh, We like picked the camera. worst career for the way we feel. <laughs> yeah. We re- No, but we didn't really feel like that when we started. No, I've always been really insecure to see footage of myself. Even back then? Yeah. I had a little bit more confidence, but I definitely had some insecurities, but not yeah, as that, bad as now. That's true though, for somebody who doesn't have confidence and cannot speak correctly, what D- am I doing? D- don't talk about my boo boo like oh, that. Oh, me. Oh. <laughs> Heath is a great man, thank explainer you, and speaker. I cannot I thought, get what's in here out there properly, and I, it pisses me off. Speaking my language. Speaking of my language. Oh, preaching to the choir. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I, I, like, I can't. You, like, I, 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 was talking to somebody, I was talking to somebody today, and they were just like, could you ever, like, host a show and i was like i i could barely host a podcast show mm-hmm. I thought, if tough. you gave me a teleprompter i could rock that all oh day. a teleprompter i i have much more confidence because i see exactly what i'm reading so i i'm able to put more like uh like energy and more personality into what i'm oh, reading but we, if i have to think on the top of my head absolutely we, not. when we saw 
Liza host Double Dare, and we got to go on set and yeah. see her just like talk. And I was like, that is just the dream. You're hosting Double Dare, and you know what you're going to say. But yeah. then you do have to riff with the contestants. Yeah, and you do. You have to joke about where She's they're from. She's really good at that. If I had a script, I can follow it. But as soon as something goes wrong, my, I can't come up with anything. I got nothing. The minute you have to go to a kid and no. just start riffing, I, I do not have my own thoughts. <laughs> it's crazy. That's a perfect way to describe myself, too. I have no thoughts. It's crazy. It goes mm -hmm. along with, um, I think I looked this up before, but I have, we've talked about this, I think. I have, uh, I don't have an imagination. I, I hear you. Um, what do you think that is? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to dissect what that means. Uh, I don't think no, you're I as, I don't, you do have an imagination. I don't think you're as imaginative as you like want to, want be. to be. If someone's described, like, you said something today. You were explaining um, a, f a freeway and stuff. I could not oh. picture a freeway to save my life. I'm like, what? <laughs> you draw. <it." laughs> I cannot. I can't see it in my head. I don't know what people are talking we're, about ever. We're, we're doing. We're doing an event for Zelo Cremota this weekend, right? And we we go to we go to the um to the venue to just like look at it, to see what we can do to make it look nice and branded and all that. And I'm looking, I'm looking at Heath. I'm like, I can't like imagine The guy's like, so what do you want? Where do you, what, like, what are you guys thinking? And he's like, I can make whatever you want. We're like, I don't know. Yeah. It, I, yeah. That, that I can't do. Like imagine a space and fill it. I, it's, so, it's so hard. I love hosting parties and like, decorating and stuff like that. So when Danielle had her party, they ordered sushi to the house. So I made it Japanese themed, but I didn't come up with that until I went to the store because I you have can't, to, yeah, you have to see, I stuff. have to be in the store and I'm like, Oh, that's my, that's my idea. So yeah. I'm the same way until it's right in front of me. But I also think that's, that's why a lot of, um, movie shows, um, books, anything that ha that's not real. Is that that's nonfiction, right? Yeah, yeah nonfiction. Non Anything yeah. that's nonfiction, I don't enjoy because I I can't. Non nonfiction is yeah. real. Nonfiction oh. is oh, real. Oh, fiction, fiction. Whatever. Oh, Sorry. fiction's fake. Fiction's, fiction's fake. fake. Yeah, that was my fault. Fiction's my bad. <laughs> it's fictitious. Of course. Um, God, I I just keep on like the, the comments are just so right about me, and I hate that. And I I give them. I I, I <laughs> give is the comments you. exactly what they like tell me I am, and I hate it. That's why I get. Pissed. Sorry, continue, Mariah. Yeah, when I people just call me dumb, I that. get mad because it's true. Um, <laughs> 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 I know the comments. You're protecting. Oh, we your, are your letting some stuff <laughs> off our chest today. <laughs> but it's healthy. I'm not. Sometimes I'm not upset. I'm upset with myself. We that's are it. far from perfect. That's for damn sure. <laughs> you got you got to see it to to get it yeah, going. Yeah, that's that's basically it. I have to. It has to be real. That's why the only show I like is The Office because it feels real. I can't. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it has to be real. That's why I like The Office. The office. Well, Everything no. oh, that she on. talks about, cut The Office always comes back. <laughs> always. It <laughs> feels the most real. That's the only thing I can relate to. If if they're flying, yeah. if, if Harry Potter is flying on a broomstick, I'm not interested because that's not real, <laughs> and I can't like imagine that being real. I don't know how to explain it um what is that what is, <laughs> it's like i don't know you you don't like you're not into like escapism if that makes sense like so, yeah <laughs> sometimes you're people a real want, you're a realist. i love escape rooms <laughs> Well, well, escape I mean, like, rooms are like kind of real. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah, you're real. putting yourself in like a real scenario. Yeah, that's yeah fake. I'm, I'm physically doing it. If I'm not physically doing it, if I have to sit and use my mind to picture <laughs> something, it's not happening. If I gotta no, exactly. think and use my brain. No, anything. Like, I hate no. using my brain. No, that's why I use my hands. I'm I'm that way. Like so, you're saying with like party themes and stuff with furniture. I can't look into it like an empty room and be like, "This is the vision." Uh -oh. But I'll go somewhere and I'll I'll find pieces that I like. I'll just buy them yeah. and then bring them and be like, "All right, let's organize it and put right. them this way." But why, when I do that to my house, it looks like shit? Because you just got bad taste. <laughs> yeah. But <my, laughs> someone was telling me my room looks like a divorce. Dad, I bro. said that. You said that. Yeah. I divorced that and I couldn't believe it. Yeah, our house always looks good. The Peloton <laughs> in the side of my room, the fucking little ass. I could, I should focus more on like the rest of our house and making it like a little Matt, bit better. I, yeah, I know. I thought you were going to do the house. <laughs> we just have to one day move the rugs, the new rugs into their new spot. Matt, Those you put a fucking... Uh, Powerpuff Girl I didn't rug. Put that, I didn't, no, I didn't put that there. That was I put that Zane there. put that there. Oh my god! And we've been too lazy. <laughs> the to first get thing up. you see when you walk into Zane's house is a Powerpuff Girl rug, but it's like two by two. Like it's so <laughs> on tiny. like a stone 
it's not, that, it's that not table's like a, nice, though. Yeah, it's not like a statement but piece. It's we, like, ha- we have those two rugs under the dining table. We just one day... still you, there. Yes, there's, no, there's, there's two They're times. great rugs, and they're great rugs. Just one day, you, me, and Leah, we just need to, like, put our elbow grease and move it, and I feel like there will be a whole different energy. And we need to hang up some of the artwork on the walls. What is up with the bright blue fucking... That was us mirror. trying. It was us trying. That's the, the, the bright blue mirror is fine. I think it totally. Oh, I works. thought it was painters tape. Oh no. <sighs> oh, I was like, are they moving this? I don't know. I don't know what I thought actually. <laughs> oh, I was about to do like a little art. Don't insult our interiors. Yeah, y'all got y'all got some weird ass dining table in there that there looks like it's there like go. at a cafeteria or yeah. something. Yeah. How about you put a couch in the kitchen? There is so a couch we can lay down. <laughs> Did you know if I if I didn't. If I went to school, I would have went to school for interior um, design. Oh yeah, is that so? Maybe you should have gone to school. For- <laughs> no. I did it in high school, and I really, really. Loved it. I was expecting you to say that. I was like, mm-hmm. right now, parts of the house are all over the place because we are in the process of switching what we're gonna have for the house that we end up buying, whatever that is. Right. So right now, it's a mix of what he had at his old house was industrial. Yeah. And now we're going for mid century. So it's it's kind of a clash of both worlds. We don't we don't have the money to buy where, it. All where right where now. are these tables gonna go in the new house? Um, this is going in the, the fucking in the dump. dump. <laughs> in the dump. <laughs> we have to light these bitches. What are we on? on this is this is uh, two forty. We got ten more episodes and we can redo this bitch. <laughs> oh, I bet. Oh, wait. What episode are we on? One forty. One forty. Two. Or 140. So that means we have 60. No, no, no. no we got to get to 50. 10 more episodes. Oh, 150, and then we're switching up the Oh, my God. Set. 10 more episodes. Until There's the, no time. Until season three is over. There's no time. Well, how long is our break between season two? To Matt, you get no three? break. No uh, break. <laughs> I thought we were, like, going on hiatus. <laughs> no, Actually, I mean, no, because then it... It would line up with the holidays, right? So it'd be good to have a little break. I would love, I would love to have But I don't know. But then all the ad reads go, get really strong during the holidays. Because that's when consumerism. Oh, what are we? No, I think. Yeah. <laughs> what are we? Are y'all not getting ad reads? <laughs> we get a couple. People, they, they like us. The brands, the brands support us. We just got on the radar a couple days ago. Yeah, so. we did. We, hey, we, hey, we're coming back strong, baby. We're coming back strong. The ads are gonna pay for this new set because this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind this. You set. got you guys bullied us. You guys bullied us. You're lucky that we didn't. I, I still think we should have like a celebratory bonfire. How the hell are we gonna move these walls? I have no. Oh, idea. I, um, the guys who built this, they come back and take this on. For I a, think for right? a small price for of thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's all right. We'll figure it out. They they did hold up though. They did hold oh, these, these walls. These are incredible. These walls held up. The set is incredible. It's just not for us. People. Every time somebody walks into, I, I'll give us this. Every time somebody walks into this room, they go, "Oh my god, yeah. this looks it's so, so much it's smaller really than cool. I thought." No, that's the first thing they say, it's and then they really say cool. it's really nice after. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, I want to hang this. I want to put this sign on chains. Yeah, we want to do a lot. Yeah, you know, it's you know just time. Just a lot of time that we we have. We'll just get laziness. There, we'll we'll get it done. We'll get it done for We're sure. We're trying to save money, which is why I sold my car today. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah, the cayenne. How long did you have it? I think seven months. <laughs> it, it was in foster care. <laughs> yeah, I think it was seven months. I mean, months. I'm glad you got rid of that. Insurance was fucking booty. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. No, no sense. Nobody the insurance- listens to me. <laughs> You didn't know. <laughs> I said, re- do you really need this one? <laughs> he did for seven months. I did. Yeah, I used it. He likes cars. He it's it's like a it's a hobby. No. It's like you buying a get a freaking Kia. <laughs> it's like you buying cheese and Carbuter But there's not cars. insurance on cheese. Thank you, Matt. Oh, there, oh, there is on the big <laughs> wheels. <laughs> The fucking there's, that comes that comes tax. a warranty. Yeah, this should cost like three hundred fifty dollars for a wheel of cheese. My God, fucking cheese care, uh. but. Um, yeah, I had it for seven months and I, I sold it for more money than I bought it for. Ooh, so really good. I got Congrats. to drive a free car, pay for the insurance, um, but then make money off of it. It helps awesome. that you take care of it. it. Yeah. It looks like it hasn't been driven, even though you drive it every day. <laughs> it looks like it hasn't been driven. Cause it <laughs> did you have a moment right though here. with it? Like when you said goodbye, did you hug it, kiss it? Anything I did. like that? I always have to have a moment like yeah. that. Did you take the exhaust and. <laughs> or just like you know when like Matt's like or when you whenever you move you just you have the, the that touch. final moment. Oh, I got this. Here we go. Say, come on, come on. Hey, come on. The the van's all packed. Let's I'll go. Be right, I'll be right out. <laughs> Very good. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming, Ma. I wish I had a door to 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 do it. Like we're just like. 
I did that when we moved out of the Denny house. You had I had moment. a moment. I had a moment. The sweater? Yeah. <laughs> Matt does it so good. That's the big little lies. Uh, oh, yeah, stance. yeah. <laughs> did you ever <laughs> want it? <laughs> did you want it bad? <laughs> ah, tears me apart. Okay, oh all right, two more. We're going to get demonetized. Um, but while I was there uh, selling my car, I found out something about Zane's old car because he sold it at the place that I sold this to. Um, which one, which car? I was appalled. The which Lambo? car? Because there's seven. The Lambo. My, my last car, yeah. Okay, he had a Lamborghini Urus. Um, so basically, he sold it to this dealership and they gave him the money for it. And By the way, before you continue that story, back, backtrack, you guys know this already. I had to take in that car Every two, three weeks, because something, something was, was breaking down. Sensors right? were, were off. There was Which just is like, why you got rid of it, because it yeah. was so high maintenance. Exactly. So you and thought, I was paying way too much money each each visit, and I had to get rid yeah. of it. Continue. Um, so we sell the car, and then this is my first time going back to this dealership since we, we took it there. Yeah. Uh, and he goes, hey, by the way, uh, Zane's car was a fucking nightmare. And I was like, what are you talking about? He goes... There was so much frame damage to the car <gasps> that he had Did to pay. Did you do that? No. no. So he had to spend like $25,000 to like fix the car, fix the frame and get it to like. $25,000 to fix. That, that's insane. So I don't know what happened, but Zane had no idea. So he bought it from the dealership, uh, a, a different dealership already fucked up. Oh. And had no idea that he was driving around this car that had twenty five thousand uh, dollars worth of damage on it. Do you think that they knew, they knew they were selling you? We, a, we couldn't. We we couldn't say if they knew or not. I mean, it's still it's very Could risky you have if sued they them knew. If you found out yeah, sooner? that's what he said. He yeah. was like, if you oh, knew that man. they sold you this car that had. But that's so strange. Like you would have to take it back for repairs, and they wouldn't like look and go, "Oh, it's because the frames broke." I can't believe that all the times I took it to Lamborghini. The, the 18 times I took it, they couldn't tell me that the whole frame was messed up. Yeah. How does a frame if, get damaged? So if it was in an accident, so say they like rear-ended somebody or whatever oh, it was. I was thinking they, it dropped off the truck on the way to the dealership or something. <laughs> and then they were like, just, pick, just <laughs> dust it off. Probably. I've been watching probably. David's vlogs too much. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so if it gets into an accident, smashes in the front, it'll dent the frame and bend the frame in. Oh. Um, so it could have been in an accident beforehand and was never reported. They tried to like fix it themselves and they just put new fenders on, a new hood, new bumper, whatever, uh, and left it. Ah, uh, just sitting Which like is that. crazy that you do, like like a car like that. Dude, that's a big lawsuit. Yeah. yeah. But I- Not I, good. I, I can't I believe If only you got into an accident <laughs> and it was- No, they would have blamed it on me. Yeah, oh, the whole would, frame yeah. got messed uh -huh. up because of this. But, but yeah, I've never, so. and, and I've never hit a car or been in an accident in that car. So I know it was not Somehow. me. Somehow. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> pretty crazy. And like that just would have sucked if like something happened to me on the highway or something. Yeah. Like I was driving and then just something just shifted or whatever the hell. A is. tire popped off. When you mean by the like the whole frame, what does that mean? The frame, like the the the, the outer part of the, no. of the entire car. No, the frame is the inside, and then you the, have the engine, the body around it. Got it. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like a skeleton right. bones. Yeah. Okay. That would yes. be like you have a broken leg. A but the skin fracture. looks good on the outside. It's Got like a it. hairline fracture. Exactly. Very good. Can't see it, but it's probably the worst thing you can. Is it? Oh, you can still feel it. I can still. You feel know it what? My can hand. you call Lamborghini for me? I want you to tell them that. That's oh, right. I'm on it. I can't believe I almost died in my car. Good. Second title right. option. There we go. <laughs> part one, part two. <laughs> <laughs> part one, part two. Uh, I love you guys. Oh, I love you, oh, Zane. Zane, that was sweet. You never said that. You never said that. Well, I'm you. saying it now. Don't say that. I'm <laughs> Are the cameras on? Zane, you never said that. Oh, you never said that? You never said that? <laughs> <laughs> as long as we're recording, baby, I love you so much. Uh, so much. The hell is going on? <laughs> so now I got to get a new car. What, what are you, you going to get? I don't know. I want him to get the Lincoln Navigator. Why? Because I love a big ass car, but I do want an Escalade <laughs> down the road. A Lincoln Navigator is like just they're, like a, a Lux XL on Uber though. They're yes, they're awesome. But that's like I buying love those cars. It's like buying like the same car that's like a, a Lincoln Town car. That's like a what's, cop car, or a taxi. I just cool. feel like 
people will get it confused. Being like, Uber, gonna... and you're like, no, this is my own car. <laughs> like that's true. It's crazy it's how black, every single Uber SUV black car looks exactly. Yeah. the same. it's always that fucking suburban. Yeah, like if I saw you driving, if I just saw that car, I'd be like, oh, it's probably an Uber driver. It's probably. Are you car. supposed to get that car to be Uber like SUV black? There's like a certain um like. There's a few different options that you can do uh, in order to be a driver for that class. Every time I'm in one of those cars, I'm just like, there's no way this is their car. I feel like this is given to them by Uber. Oh, no, a lot of it's times just, those, there's like, there's these services where they just own it and they yeah. make a cut off of their I'm sure they're already chauffeurs earnings. and then on the side, they're doing Uber. Yeah. Got it. Um, but like someone owns thing. a whole fleet Thank of you. them and they just drive them out yeah. every night. But I think the the Lincoln's a little too close to an Escalade, right? Like they're pretty much yeah. the same thing. I want when I have an my Escalade, kids. Escalade. What year is this? I want an. She, Escalade. It's a childhood dream. You, you want to? Yeah, it's like two thousand and like four, and this is like the dream car. Yeah, twenty twenty two. They're nice. They're, they're nice. Oh, oh yeah, they, I, they, I, they, they I, I haven't even seen a new Escalade. I just thought like oh they're sick. Escalades they, have come and gone. They brought it back. Gorgeous. Yeah, Vin, does Vince have? Vince has, he has, has one, oh or he has God. one still. Yeah, yeah, the gray one. They're unreal, but they're too close to the Lincoln Navigator, so maybe something else. I don't know. That's you, like, remember, you remember when Escalade came out with the truck? Yeah, oh, wait. And it looked like the Chevy Avalanche. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I want to drop my kids off to school in that. Because it looks it looks mobby. Oh, that black one. It is mob vibe. Black, yeah. All black, Jordan. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, okay, wait. Show Matt the interior. Do 2022. Looking like you're pulling up like the from the Godfather or something. You want to look like an Italian mobster, right? Is that yeah. the, like the look you want to yes, go for? Yes, that's exactly it. By the time I have kids, I bet a really, really insane one's going to come out. They are, they're finally putting the V in uh, oh. the Escalade. Oh, yes. I'll wait for that. Wait, they're putting the V? The V. Yeah, so you know how they had like the, the CTS V... Uh, the CT5. Are these like V8 or, engines? Yeah. So oh, it's okay. like they're- So there's eight they're cylinders. Top of the line. It yeah. just goes vroom faster or louder? And it goes vroom louder, louder too. too. Oh, no, wait. I don't yeah. need that. I didn't know that's what that meant. Damn, that looks nice. That's uh, I love fancy. Them. That's like, that's yeah, that is like a goal of mine. I want to be able to buy that. You'll get it, Bubba. I'll get it. You like your Jeep so far, though? Oh, I'm obsessed. Have you been ducked? At all? I freaking wish. You know, I went to, I went to, uh, if you don't know what duct is. No, somebody left something on your car that one time. Remember you freaked out. That doesn't, that, that's not, that's not duct though. I thought somebody was trafficking you. Explain oh, what duct is. Oh, I totally forgot about that. That's how I found out what ducking yes. was. Right. When, when in the, in our driveway, there was a yellow duck on the hood of my car. Yeah. And I didn't touch it because I thought it was like a something bad. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I went inside and I called Heath and he was like, don't touch it. I'm coming home, whatever. And then all I did was go on TikTok. TikTok, TikTok is the new Google, mm -hmm. Twitter. Mm -hmm. You Everything. just type in keywords and it comes up. So I typed in Jeep duck and it's called ducking where uh, Jeep owners have a bunch of little rubber duckies and you jet, they're different styles. There's like a punk rock one and a hot pink one. You can buy a huge pack on Amazon. Yeah, they're really cheap. Rubber um, I didn't know and that. And then if you see another Jeep, cause you know, Jeeps are just like one big happy family. Um, it's a Jeep thing. If you, you see another it. Jeep, you put a duck somewhere on the car. And I, then you I thought, sorry, I, for some reason, I didn't really even think about the word. I thought ducking was when, you, um, when you're when you driving by a Jeep and you go like that to them. Oh, uh, that, that's just that's like the, the, the Jeep wave. Yeah, oh the God, Jeep okay, wave. the Jeep wave. Sorry, I, I thought that was ducking. That's I've never heard that before. I never heard of it until I thought I saw somebody like put like a tracker on her car. Yeah, and, uh, me too. I was scared. So someone went into your driveway, like in your property and well, like put I it on there? Well, I think it was... Um, at the shopping center I was at, I just didn't notice it somehow. The, the I don't duck know. on the on the on your windshield. Yeah, it was in. You know she's you know, in her own zone. That's she's true. doing her thing. You know, on the hood, there's those two scoops. Yeah, it was in that. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. So I do want to. I do want to start ducking people. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you would put a lot of time in your day ducking people. Yeah. Oh my God. Like it, would, it would take over her you'd life. You'd go to the store just to see if there's any Jeeps in there. Just yeah. so you can. You but. should start cheesing people. Just put like a little, yeah, like a little baby bell cheese wheel. Ooh, absolutely <laughs> not. That shit will be out in the hot sun. <laughs> yeah. It's Melting queso. on the hood. <laughs> you're going to look like a fucking <laughs> crusted chicken Ramona oh, <laughs> by the end of the day. Mm -mm. <laughs> Uh, mm, 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 mm. How fun. Yeah, I saw a TikTok of a girl who got ducked and she was so excited. She's like, oh my gosh, I just got ducked for the first time. Yeah, I had a different experience. I was like, oh. But I know, right? You, oh, but no, you TikTok no, and post it, and all the comments are like, all right, you just, you you're, you're good. <laughs> just full on panic at that. <laughs> I wish I had something that was a bond. <laughs> you have me. 
I feel like I feel like Porsche community. You guys have a big bond. There, there, there is a, a tight community. They just like you kind of just have like a well, not not like an excited wave. But when you when you see like somebody in a nice Porsche, it's kind of like you know it's a little thing. Yeah, defender people. We kind of wave, but if they have an old defender, they're just like they don't want to look with, at uh, you. They're with the, with the you. Raptors, it was uh, flick the the high beams. I don't. Uh-huh. Every Raptor driver would do that. Oh, Teslas have a community. We love to get keyed. We love to return them. <laughs> did you get? Did you get keyed? No, no, no. I, but remember when people were posting their webcams from oh, their cars and yeah, keying yeah. yeah. Teslas oh. because um, people just like. I'm very just conscious like of that now. Like c- getting out of my car next to a Tesla, I'm just like, don't don't pick your nose. <laughs> yeah, right. They can see you. Scratch your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Scratch it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I I need to check those cameras more often. That's how I caught like all those like times that somebody broke into my house because I decided just to check the cameras one day. Are you recording though all the time? All or the time. Only I, if, like, ever, uh, ever since that accident, I record all the time now. Good. When I. Oh, right. <laughs> Fuck. The other day, I shouldn't be saying this. The, uh, I was with my mom and I. I was, uh, and you're gonna, you're gonna scream at me. I leave, I leave to go to your house, and where I get out of the neighborhood, I'm like, shit, I forgot my medication. I forgot to take my medication, uh-huh. right? Every day, every day. <laughs> so I, I look to my side of view mirror and see that there's no cars in the lane. So I. <laughs> Back up. Oh, like, I do that all the time. But I, do, I didn't look behind me. Oh, like I my looked, God. I looked to see if there's cars like on the other lane, but not behind me for some odd reason. <laughs> and and then I hear, Arr! and I was this close to completely oh smashing. Oh, my God. Guess what? Another car. Another car behind oh, me. Because I was man. at the light and I Sorry, needed to I make it. Imagine. And I needed to make it. I needed to get in this lane so I can make it right to go right back into my neighborhood. And I. It's the worst when your brain just glitches like that. Yeah. Uh, just I was on. Out. This happened months ago, but I think about it every time. You know Laurel Canyon when you're going up over to our side and you hit Mulholland. Right. Yeah. And there's know. no like left green light. You have to like yield and wait for yeah. everybody else in the lane. I just been waiting there so long and it was so happy it was green. I just went and this car was like. <laughs> Going and I had to stop. We almost collided, but I was just like, idiot. Like, I I don't know. He, I just he thinks you're yelling at him, but you're just hitting yourself. Yeah. I was just like, I'm so sorry. And it's so embarrassing because all of yeah. those people are just watching you do that. I think about it every day and I apologize, but we, thank God we didn't get hit. But like, oh. Do, do you ever, when you're on the highway, I think about this all the time. I don't know why, but every time I'm on the highway, I, I imagine... I imagine everybody in their cars, but like every everybody, um, all the cars are in, like invisible. Like you can see through everybody, and you just see everybody just sitting in the seat <laughs> on the highway. What? I do it all the time. I don't know what because sometimes when you're driving, you don't you don't think that people are in these cars. You think of them just as cars. Oh yeah. Do you, like do you yeah. ever do that? It's yeah. weird. Everybody is going somewhere. They're all yeah. every, every there's a human in every car. Like if you we, just look at it as a car. If we were all together in like a grocery store, everybody would be respectful, nice. But for some reason on the road, everyone is like an enemy. Yeah. On the road. <laughs> you're trying to pass somebody. You're trying to move like everybody is just like It's a free for all. It's a free for all, exactly. And to, and especially so, to in get LA, my, everybody comes from different states, so everyone's driving the way driving their pattern. state drives. Yeah. So this how I manic. get that enemy mindset out of my head, I just imagine <laughs> everybody. I see everybody uh, with like invisible cars. Yeah. And you that's see every, interesting. Because if everybody, if everybody had invisible cars, I feel like everybody driving would be much different. Yeah. Like yeah. There, nobody would be getting cut off. Like the nobody invisible boat Because you look at them as people. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when you're about to say a speech, you imagine everybody in their underwears. So you can't, you picture people can't imagine so to get rid of your anxiety. That's how, what kind, yeah. what I kind of do with Jordan. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna. That's a good idea though. <laughs> I'm gonna put Jordan on blast for a second. I thought you were a bad driver, but Jordan. <laughs> oh, oh, Jordan. Jordan's Jordan's bad. I don't oh, like Jordan's driving I have at never all. seen somebody drive so Florida <laughs> in my life. Oh, a very Floridian driver. Oh my God, it it is insane <laughs> taking corners. <laughs> It's, he drives like he's in Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> no, he drives like he's at one of the, like the driving simulators in like Dave and Buster's. There's no, there's no like easy turn on a steering wheel. It's this. So if you're like taking a corner, it's not just like hold the wheel in one position. It's this. And, and then, I'm like, bro, bro, hold the line. And then he floors it. Jordan drives like a 65 year old now. Most Imagine people, most Jordan, older. you're an old soul. Like, wait, he's like. So, in, normally, <laughs> if you were gonna like veer or turn, you would just turn the wheel like this yeah. and just hold it. Yeah. You would just like hold it into a turn. It's this. 
<laughs> to do the line. But he's jerking it back yes. then? Yes. It's, like, it's a little bit at a time. Ah. Ah. So you just sh- are you shy it, it, about it, committing to it? And then also, if you come up to a corner or like a turn, <laughs> most people slow down going up to the turn, coast through it, and then gas out. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Floors it up to a turn, slams the brake, waits till he gets into the apex of the turn and starts flooring into the turn. Bro, I've never seen anything like it, Jordan. Explain it's yourself. actually impressive. Have we gotten to all of our destinations okay? Barely. <laughs> Jordan, how I, there, many minutes do we shed off the GPS? Minutes of my life because I'm stressing. Wait, no, hold on. You say he's fast? He's, he's, so he's fast. fast and slow at the same oh, time. Oh, I can't I explain think, it. Oh, the times I've been in the car, slow, slow. I, <laughs> well, if I was behind moments. you, I'd be laying on my horn. I'd be ah! if we were like in a one, like a one lane road. Oh my god! I'd but then done. we'll also like if you're on the highway and you see the cars ahead of you start braking. Normally, you would start braking. He goes <laughs> and he punches it. I'm like, what are maybe we? I think because he me- he means to press the brake, but he presses the accelerator. It is but the do, you, do you get? Do you think you drive worse? when there's other people in the car? I do, Matt. Thank yeah, you. Thank I know. You. Sometimes there is that. I I'm, yeah, yeah, and I, 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 I give him shit, uh, so it probably puts pressure on him. But, <laughs> dude, I've never seen anything like it. And then it, we'll get to a destination. He'll be like, man, LA people can't drive. I'm like, <laughs> 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 what? It's okay, though. It's okay. <laughs> That's funny. I saw a TikTok that was like, growing up is realizing your parents are terrible drivers. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. So bad. My, oh, dad, yeah, my dad. dad, horrible, <laughs> yeah. horrible driver. And he drives in a Prius. So I he so, why sorry, that Jordan. Is. I love you. I'm just, I'm, I'm being honest, but I'm also busting your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember learning how to drive? Do you remember yes. doing the day with your parent? Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. I failed my driving test. You oh, don't you say. <laughs> <laughs> how many times? Just once. Just once. I, I hit a cone. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's I, ice cream cone. Uh, but I remember my dad being so mad at me. Oh, I know. Just even like doing the most simple maneuver, they, yeah. they snap at you, and you're like, "Well, this isn't fun anymore." But it's crazy that they'll snap at you when they're horrible drivers. I but wonder if we'll be bad according to our kids. Like maybe it's just like really. I don't a think we'll be time. bad. I don't, I don't think we'll be bad drivers. Do you do you also remember the time when drive you were conscious about driving? Where it wasn't like an autopilot thing. I remember taking yes. my mom's car for like the first time and being like, I'm driving. I am driving, driving a yeah. vehicle <laughs> and I am aware. And like, uh-huh. you know what I mean? Like, you get on the highway, you are at oh war. You are gosh. in the battlefield. You are along like, with the horsemen. I, I kind of miss that feeling because yeah. I haven't yeah. had that, like, here we go, I'm merging onto the highway. Whoa. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. now it's just like you kind of just like whip it around and you're not thinking about it. It's just second nature. Do you remember when you were learning to drive what? one thing you struggled with was, do you remember like the first time you drove, what was like the thing that was oh, like, you like confusing, doing very confusing. Like what would confuse you on the road? Ye- Anything. Yielding when it's like a green light, but like no one's coming, that's when to go. Uh, but when there's not like the green turn signal or the mm, green, I know what you mean. The green arrow and just knowing it's green, but like a car could come anytime and like yeah. not knowing that I would just, I would get weird about. I had this thing. I got yelled at a couple times. Um, I would change lanes in the middle of an intersection. Oh, like yeah. going through it. Can't do that. Can't oh, do that. No, no, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> my, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I learned that lesson. I, th- I feel like people do it, but yeah, if a cop sees you do it, yeah. then you'll definitely. Like, you know stop. the rules, but kind of bend them a little also, bit. Also, just like the, <laughs> the stopping. I remember. Like as soon as that was mine, I, I, it would like be a hard stop. I'm like, how do you, how do you ease into it? I don't understand. It took me a while to figure that one out. Yeah. But my, my parents overall were pretty relaxed when they were teaching me how to drive. They were just like, they were just just eyes closed. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) Did you, did you guys learn stick? Do you know how to drive man? No, No, I did. I I had to. I'm just waiting for the day I'm in a damn horror movie and I'm like, (laughs) get the key. Get the car, go, go. <laughs> Fuck it, stick. Like, and you can't get, go, 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 Do you go, think go. if you got put in that situation, you'd be able to figure it out? I think I think so. Like I played you some would. You, video you would. games where like, I know when to like hit the clutch and focus on that little thing and get it right. How do you, turn, the, how do you turn a manual car on? Um, well, first I think <laughs> you turn it on and then you give a little bit of the gas and then get the clutch into the no, first how do, you, how do you turn the car on? You put the keys in and you turn the car on. So you wouldn't even get it on. Yeah. Just, what do you have to do? You have to put the clutch in. Good job, Bubba. Uh, well, I think in that heat of a moment, I'm like, well, if that doesn't work, <laughs> then I'm gonna try this. Maybe that's how all, all, like, all those horror movies, they can't get the car started. It's because just it a manual. manual. That's all it is. <sighs> Come on. 
Who are, are, are manual car? I guess there's certain cars. I want a manual car so need. bad. Oh, They're fun. When I would it, just, that is like. Isn't Big Red a manual? No, I no. wish. Oh. It's just like, you are literally a pilot. You know what I mean? You are, yeah. you are, dr the car is an extension of you. It's a cool concept. It's like a but suit. It, it scares me people that drive stick because you don't know when a car is stick until you're stopped on a hill and they're rolling back and there's not enough room. Yeah. And you're like, no, cause they have to roll back to go forward. And you're like, oh S no. Sticks are good because you really pay attention to the road. Yeah. Like you, you will not you, like when I- No texting and driving. Phone, like, oh yeah. no, my phone, I couldn't even like pick it up to answer nothing, no GPS because all my focus was on that stick. Get, my, your, get your cars a manual or your kids a manual car and they'll never be texting, calling, driving. My oh, yeah. mom told, my mom wants my brother to get a stick because he has like, crazy ADHD and it's the coolest thing. He needs something to do with his hands. And my mom's like, get a stick, a stick so yeah. that you're busy and you're yeah. focused because he can't focus. He has zero focus. I, every time I would steal, when I didn't have my driver's <laughs> license, I would steal my mom's car. And I remember just driving around during the day. And my first, the, my, my first thought going anywhere, I was so scared that somebody would recognize me in the car, oh, shit. like driving around like a neighbor or one of my mom's like, friends see, on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time I'm out of stop, I would duck my head like this. <laughs> Everywhere I went, it's not oh. like whenever someone pulled up, I would just go like this and I'd just do this just to make sure That's that so. it wasn't somebody that I, I was my ducking mom. around my my area because I was in a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> you were just embarrassed before I got a car. Like my both my parents had minivans. Yeah, <laughs> and that's how I learned to drive, and that was the only family car. So and it was it wasn't a new one. It was like just a rundown yeah. like rusty. At least it was minivan. a car though. I felt like I feel like in high school it was if you had a car, it yeah. was cool. Like didn't you, matter what it, it was. It didn't matter what it was. Like you at least had a car to drive around in. Yeah. It was a, it was a dope feeling. Yeah. I remember getting in Austin's and just being like, we can go You have anywhere. a car. Yeah. I hated that I didn't have a car in high school. Like you really, like the world was in your, like world mm -hmm. was your oyster when you had a car. I feel like I'm going insane. Like I really do. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm saying it because it's healthy for me to get it off, but I'm just like not At least you're not well. running out of the room like me. I know. You're, you're pushing through it. I'm Zane and I had a day it. yesterday. Oh, oh uh, you, meltdown? Oh yeah, yeah. Meltdown. big meltdown day. Is, is there something in the air or is it just like- Mercury's in retrograde. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I still don't even know what that means. I, don't, I, I will never know what that means. I just know it's on. A, it was on a shirt when I went to the Goodwill. <laughs> I think my brain's been like, just like on junk mode though. Like I, TikTok is like, sometimes I just feel like it's just like zoinkity boink. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, I was yeah, going yeah, to yeah. bed the other night and I was trying to just like think of something calm and it's just like Wait, oh my god, like wait, it was when, just was bang, 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 bang. when was that? Last night. Last I was night. Just like, okay, I was on TikTok was like, last night and I felt I've never felt more stupid because everything on there, I was like, what am I this is not feeding my brain. So I told myself the next TikTok that comes up that I learned something, go to bed after that, go to sleep on it. That's so weird that like, so like, 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 yeah, it's, like it's like a freaking pinball machine. Yes. Like, oh. It's a pinball machine. That is TikTok. Oh, and it's not like satisfying. Oh my but God. But I had that same thing last like, night. I really need yeah. to tell These down. kids though, like just like the, the young kids, like elementary, middle like school that are on TikTok all day, their brains are going to be so fried. Fucking fried. Oh, You're I'm not like, fried, but just like it's gonna be really difficult to because I feel like just me, a 29 year old on TikTok for the past year, it's definitely had a, an effect yes, on my brain. Me too. And Do through you, the pandemic and everything, always on TikTok, that took a it took a turn. Like in my ADHD mind. is gonna skyrocket. Yeah. I noticed that I keep doing this and it makes me mad every time I catch it. I'll go through my phone. I'll, I'll literally like say I go through Instagram for like a few minutes while I'm going to the bathroom. I'll close the app and then I'll click Instagram again. Yep. Yeah. And I, I'll do it with like, I'll just <laughs> open the app right again. back up that I just yeah. closed. I'm like, why? What am I looking? What am I looking for? I need to have like designated times where like, I'm going to sit down on Instagram. I'm going to go like all my friends' pics, comment, and if then you not can look find at it for them. the rest of the yeah. day. Like devoting like a time. It's like your email. You, you go on it for a certain amount and then you're, and then you finish it. You're done for the next few hours. I think yeah. we just need to be on a stricter work schedule so that we're busy. <laughs> we just need things to do because the second you sit in a chair yeah even if it's for like if you're waiting to microwave your food like the second you sit down that's when you're you need something we're trained that like you should be doing something what at if, all times what if we had a schedule so, where it was like on june 5th thursday we have to go to the park right we, we have to go to the park from fucking 3 p.m to 5 p.m figure it out no phones you have to have fun at the park do then something you resent oh, the I schedule do that. you'd hate it I don't oh, know. Oh, I would love that. I don't know. Just so, like 
Just something to uh, keep you excited, I guess, because we need you something. can't have your phone. And but Do not you smell having pizza your- rolls? I was just thinking of pizza. That is so crazy you said that. I just I got a wave was just thinking right at that, that second. That makes me think it's something paranormal. You know when people are like, I got a smell wave flowers? of pizza rolls. Well, I was just thinking in my head, I'm like, God, I'm really hungry. Do I have anything to eat? And I was like, I had Jordan. pizza. And then I go, no, I ate all the right pizza. Oh. <laughs> Where does he go? <laughs> I thought he was in the kitchen. I was because sometimes Jordan goes to the kitchen and like has fun in there. I don't know. Oh, 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 I, I took my shoes off. I'm I'm ready. I'm in. I'm in it to win. Something is no, in that's me. the smell. Oh, um, something. Uh, the 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 billion dollar lottery. The numbers came. Out, Somebody right? won. In Somebody Illinois. won in Chicago. Chicago. Somebody has a billion dollars. Uh, no, no, more like four hundred million yeah, after all the taxes. Good for that's them. That's still unbelievable. <laughs> it's crazy. And that person is out there, and yeah. they are probably they're they're probably dead. Honestly, because the <laughs> like the heart attack I I would have if I just like received. You can't say anything. You can't know. Poker face. I would go. Cra- I would go crazy. Yeah, I don't know what that, keep like, that secret. I don't you know can't what that would t- feel like. You can't tell your friends. You really can't tell anybody. <laughs> did you see? Did you see the? I think it was like in Australia. It was a guy on the news. So he won the lottery. This was like years and years ago. Yes, won the lottery. And they like went to him and they were like, okay, cool. Can we get like a video of like a reenactment of you B-roll. buying yeah. you buying the lottery ticket? And then we're going to put that in with like your winning. Mm-hmm. So he buys another lottery ticket to film him doing the lottery. And he fucking won again. Another like, like, I <laughs> just won $250,000. And they're like, oh my God, this is good. I'm not kidding you. I just and won like, it. Wow. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up. He's like, I just won $250,000. And they were like, wait, what? No, they had to have stuff that. Up. No, no it's a crazy. crazy moment. And then he starts breaking down. He's like, I cannot believe this right now. Come on. The luck. That's insane. Yeah. yeah that's like doing like a half court. And you guys are like, absolutely sure like they, they couldn't yeah. have like that's something David would do. Like, hey, make the next lottery ticket the winning one so we so like the person can win it. Yeah. Like, no, it's are you real. Sure? It's wild. Mm-hmm. It happened like oh in the my. 90s or yeah, it's like it's old really footage. old footage. Wow. I think it is one of the cruelest things to, for people to buy the fake lottery tickets I hate and that. giving them to their friends and family to like either if it's a scratch off or it's oh. the number. Wait, what do you mean? What and do you, you win, right? Where it's yes. like the automatic win. When David did it to me. Oh, yeah, that was bad. All right, let's close this bitch out. All right, this is fun. Good. Let's it get was. some, uh, was, some pizza was, rolls. It was a roller coaster of emotions. How do you feel, Matt? A little better? A little bit better, but... Feels good to just talk and hang out. Yeah, exactly. It is good. But thank you guys for being there for me and let, hearing me out. Of trust, trust me, you're preaching to the choir here. And also, the 600 other thousand people, we're also with you. Thank you. Thank you again for tuning into another Zane and Heath unfiltered episode. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure to check out our uh, coffee, cremado.com. Uh, we have um, every single flavor in the book. In the world. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> every flavor in the coffee. <laughs> um, ground coffee and K cups. And we also have merch. We got mugs, tumblers, double wall insulated. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, tumblers that you can buy all on Cremoto.com. Also, make sure to check out our Patreon. You can see the episodes a few days early and completely ad-free. Every month we do a high episode with a different guest. We had uh, Tana and Brooke on. We've had Susie on, Alicia, mm-hmm. Remy. Uh, so make sure to check that out. We post those once a month. We do a live Q&A every month. We also do a private Discord that you can have access to. And we also keep these cameras rolling 15-20 right. minutes after we finish recording and we talk all of the shit in the world and talk about how we felt about the episode and just unwind. get stuff out of our chest. Unwind. Unwind with unfiltered. So again, if you want to check that out, patreon.com slash Zane and he. Thank you so much and we love you. Bye-bye. And see you next week. Bye. Toodles. Toodle boodles. Toodle. Toodle-loodles.